The top surface here is the artificial skin. It has two parts to it. One is the cushioning on the inside and the outside is a Gore-Tex covering to make it a little smoother for the babies. And then underneath the skin we have the platform. This platform moves up and down vertically, gently, about one centimeter. And the heartbeat microphone is inside the box and we can control the volume so that we make sure it's not too loud for the babies. We are trying to provide a treatment where we are helping the baby if the parent is not available. Parents are the first priority in terms of holding their babies and we didn't want them to feel this was replacing them. Anytime that we were around, we were holding them, we were trying to do hand hugging and skin to skin care, but to have this as an additional tool um, when you're in the hospital would be really important for us. We did a randomized control trial testing the Calmer robot against our standard of care treatment in the neonatal intensive care nursery at BC Women's Hospital. Our standard of care is something we called hand hugging where a nurse or a parent if they're there puts their hands firmly but gently around the baby to try to keep it contained, the arms and the legs contained and we compared those two treatments and we found that the calmer worked no differently from a human doing hand hugging. For those families who can't be there as much as they would like to, this is so helpful in making their, their babies feel, feel that they're still there, that they have that connection to their, to their parent. I hope that this is a game changer in terms of how incubators are built in the future. We want the components of Calmer built right in so when babies come into the nursery they're getting the benefit of Calmer right from the beginning until they go home.